Hello, hello, this is Jen. I hope everybody's good. I'm here with an energy update. Uh, welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're not new. Thank you for being here. So let's uh, dive right in. We have a new moon coming up. I believe it's the 22nd, so tomorrow? Something like that. Um, and lots of things are going to change with this new moon. Already, yeah, April 22nd. Already, we are um, moving forward faster than we may see and think, but we are. Uh, um, energetically, this crisis, the worst has passed already. Not only that, the ones that are ahead of the wave are already anchored in 5D in a different reality than the one that used to be theirs. And they are seeing the first signs of physical change. For some, it may be a little different. It all depends, like what you've been doing. It all depends on your path. But just rest assured that everything is happening according to divine timing. Sometimes we feel that we're blocked and we're like, I feel block, blocked. I feel like I'm suffocating. I feel like I can't move any forward. And then all of a sudden, everything like blows up and unfolds rapidly. And for others, it's different. For some people, it's more like a smooth, like slowly but surely. For others, it's like the stock market, high highs and low lows. I'm like that, like I rise, 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 and then I feel like nothing's moving, and then everything unfolds very rapidly. But in that phase where you feel that nothing is moving, it's not true, you are moving forward. Things are unfolding and moving forward. You just cannot see it with your eyes and it's usually your mind or your ego trying to make you believe that they're not moving, but spiritually and energ energetically, sorry, things are changing. They are. And now with this new moon, a lot of people are going to start seeing the first signs of physical intervention of this entire shift. They're going to see things happening to them that they never thought would happen that fast or in this lifetime or just never thought it would happen. They will start slowly by slowly seeing changes and signs of change in their physical reality. Ain't that great and beautiful? I mean, you're going to see it, you're going to wake up one morning and you're going to feel it throughout your entire body and existence and soul and energy that you belong and you are in a different density, therefore a different reality. You're going to feel your mood change, you're going to feel your body change. And it's usually where we start feeling antsy and we want to do stuff and we want to change our entire wardrobe and, uh, you know, everything that we own and stuff like that. For sure, that's not so easy to do at this point because of all the lockdown still going on. Use that energy to put it elsewhere and change everything you can change spiritually and physically by connecting with people either that you haven't connected with for a long time, time to re reconcile, or by connecting with new people that will bring you the new either soul family members or like new things that you're ready to take on. Like m take this moment, this opportunity to do things differently because anyway, it will never be the same. It will never be the way it was before. So we need to get used to a new way of doing things. And if you're like me, you love those phases where everything is new, 
where you feel like you're chasing new things and discovering. It keeps you on your toes. It keeps you motivated. And it's time to, you know, expand higher and bigger and deeper and take this moment to perhaps learn something new, even if it's not spiritually related, just learn something new. You're going to realize how different your mind is working and how different you understand things, how differently you understand things, because you see them from a different point of view. So your approach to life and to things, to people, to, 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 to everything that is, you know, Everything, I want to say that everything that is alive, but everything that has a consciousness, you're going to see how your approach is different. So it's time to get used to that because this is the new reality coming up for everybody on earth. Just some people will live through that ahead of the wave or before other people. They, they are like, the first waivers and whatnot, and, and they need to go through this before so that they can anchor this physically and start shine, shining outwards those new energies for other people to benefit from that ripple effect and walk, you know, the same path. So it, it really is good news, even though it may not seem like it, even though it may seem like everything has stopped and like everything is dense and heavy. It's not. It's really not. So it's really a time to open our eyes and open our hearts and not listen to the news or like break up with negativity, like break up with any kind of negativity. People that are negative, TV shows that are negative or bringing nothing else to you but, you know, dense and heavy stuff, break up with that. Move towards the lightness and the light. Move towards whatever makes you feel happy, bubbly, light, makes you laugh, makes you feel great and expand on that. Keep on expanding and opening up those channels and opening up those path for you to start building what's coming for you. If you're very intuitive or an empath, you're, you're seeing this already. You're seeing those signs of change. You're seeing these changes like knocking at your door very quietly and just saying, hey, I'm here. Are you ready to take on your new reality or should I come back in a little bit? And it's up to you to decide how ready you are. But if you are getting those signs, you are ready. Your soul is telling you that you're ready. Your higher self is telling you that you're ready. Take the leap of faith. It is wonderful. Not easy, but wonderful. Because we're still in some duality um, energies and there's some aspects that still need to be worked on and like harmonized like things need need to be a little bit smoother for some people and we're we're still like feeling that collectively but each moment that you spend in your new reality and each moment that you spend even further in your new reality and that you expand on is helping you anchor this reality for good in your life. So even though at first it may feel like, what, am I drunk or am I high on something? Because this feels so different. I feel lost. I feel a little bit scared because it feels it's the unknown. I feel like my head is in the cloud. I have a hard time grounding myself because everything is new and like coming at me. But the more you dip your toes into that reality, the easier it gets. And the more you anchor, the more you integrate. And then, you know, until you can make the full jump. So take that leap of faith. If you see those signs, if you see those changes, whispering to you listen to the whisper and listen to your internal guidance trust me 
you're gonna find gems, you're gonna find diamonds. If only you listen and you look, trust me, the new reality is here. And whenever that happens, you start connecting with people that will challenge you at a higher level. That's because you changed and the challenges, you know, need to be a little bit different and you will connect with new people that will bring you what you need at that time. So embrace those new moments. These, this new moon is very powerful that way. Very, very powerful that way. Sleeping patterns have been um, disrupted for the past, I want to say two, three weeks, but even more for the past four or five days. So much releasing happening at night. The dream space is really a space where we solve a lot of things and learn. And perhaps you are starting to feel like you, when you wake up in the morning, you're like, yeah, I'm different, but I'm not sure what it is yet. So perhaps your nightly education has changed a little bit and you're probably receiving new messages when it comes to your mission or your future, your immediate future what's coming for you in the um, coming weeks and months. Sorry, I've forgotten the S there. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're probably getting the clues, the synchronicities and all the messages in regards to your immediate future, what's coming for you. And, and just pay attention to your body when you connect with that energy. Is your body feeling lighter and relax or is it feeling like it's cramping up and it's becoming very heavy that's the ultimate sign of where you need to go and of how you should be taking those signs and clues that you're getting so how about our dear divine masculine they are going through this as well of course um the game is a little bit different on their side because they're working on different levels. While the Divine Masculine is really trying to anchor this new reality, the Divine Masculine is also trying to anchor their new reality. They're also still working on forgiving the past, forgiving themselves for how they treated people around them because they weren't seeing things the same way that they, the other people did. Forgiving themselves for creating more drama than they needed to go through. I mean, they created it. They went through the drama and now they're at the phase of really closing that chapter and you know, like, you know, sealing the deal to move on. A lot of past lines stuff happening also on their side. Lots of emotion, lots of ups and downs of, okay. Now, what is this? What do I need to understand? Because not only this global crisis that we're in doesn't make sense, but my life doesn't make sense any longer. So what do I need to do? And they're actively searching for the light, actively searching for the sun. You know, especially the sun after the storm, when it peeks through the clouds, they're searching for that. They are getting on their own nerves which is ironic in the way and funny, but necessary because when you get on your own nerves, that's the best sign that something is wrong, that something needs your attention and that something needs to be worked on. That's basically your soul saying, hey dude, you know, this is like overrated. This is done. This is overcooked. And it's time for you to cook something else, try something else, and be something else. And for a lot of them, that's where they're at. So they're like really at trying to, to, to break the barriers to move on to the next level, which is on the other side of the veil. Being fully anchored anchored into their mission, fully anchored into their spiritual gifts, using them just like using their voice, 
using their gifts as part of, as an in, integral part of their daily life. And for them, it's something new. They've never done that before. They don't know how to do this. For other Divine Masculine, they are dealing with emotions related to recent events. So they're at a different stage of their awakening and ascension, and that's all good. It's not about where you're at compared to other people. It's about where you're at for yourself and what you do about that and how you take proper action to move forward and just keep moving forward and higher. So lots of things happening on their side and that explains a lot of the sleep pattern being disrupted because usually when that happens, it's the two souls trying to connect together during the night or on that different plane Try to, you know, work out the deals and work out the details of that deal. So lots of uh, forward movement when it comes to those connections. And I think it's in my last video that I mentioned how important twin flames are on Earth. So if, if you resonate with those words, you're probably receiving a whole lot of messages when it comes to that. A lot of perhaps visions or at least clues of what's going to happen to you in your immediate future. And it's probably becoming very clear to you what your mission is or what you need to do when it comes to, do I move? Do I stay here? Do I change jobs? What do I do? Where do I go in life? You've, you're probably receiving a lot of answers and that's because the Divine Masculine has been doing a lot of work. Of course, for some, the work, you know, needs to keep going on. In, in fact, for everybody, we always need to do the work. I don't think it never stops. But at this point, with the new moon coming, these new energies, they, they're not very tolerant. Like there's no space, no gap for you not to act. You're going to feel bad instantly if you don't do anything. You're going to create like instant karma. This is a huge theme for the rest of the month, like instant karma. If you choose, if you make the wrong decision, if you make the wrong choice, you're going to see instant karma right away. And when I say the wrong decision or wrong choice, it's always related to, is this a choice or a decision that I'm making with my heart or am I making this decision with my head and my ego? Instant karma. You're going to see small stuff, not big stuff, but still stuff that you're going to have to deal with and clear, which is not cool. Like so many people have been working so hard on karma and releasing that from this life, from past lives. Now the divine masculine are going through that, releasing karma for, from past lives and trying to, you know, uh, uh, speed everything up in their present life. We don't want to be creating more karma. So be careful. Make sure that when, you, when you're in front of something, just check in with yourself. What's my motivation here? Is it my heart or is it fear? Is it love or is it fear? Is it love or is it doubts and like uncertainty and like something negative? If it's something negative, revise that. If it's something positive, connect to it and then push yourself forward after making that decision, for example, and see how your body reacts. Are you on cloud nine or are you not? If you are, follow that path. That's where the light is. That's where you're going to grow. That's where you're going to find your answers and, you know, have a blast. That's where you're going to have fun with the unicorns. Um, if not, it doesn't mean that you're not going to grow, but it's going to be different for sure. It's going to be less expanding. 
doesn't mean it's not going to be fun or that you're going to have a hard time. It's just that it's, it's on the darker side. You're not going to expand as much. You're not going to, you know, ascend as much. But that's your choice. And once that decision is made or that choice is made, it's never too late to switch. It's never too late to change. Never, never. And those choices and decisions, they show up in our lives every minute of the day that we are awakened, that we are awake, sorry. And that we're doing something, whether you're working at this time or not. If you're remotely working, you still have decisions to make when it comes to your personal life or work life. And talking about work life, the divine masculine is making new changes on that level. They uh, realize how, and I've mentioned this so many times before, <clears throat> before, but they realize how they've been surrounding themselves with negative people, people with very, very low vibrations, people that were ego driven and they want to break away from that. It's making them sick physically and that physical sickness showing up for them is the first time for a lot of them. It's the first time that it shows up so strongly that they cannot pretend it's not there. They're like just being stopped and being asked to take a look at this. And if you are a divine mass, a feminine that has been dealing with that physical illness or sickness, your twin flame is now going through this and understanding what you've been through and what you've been dealing with for X amount of time. Because I know a lot of divine feminine were judged by their twin because the twin thought they were crazy for feeling this way or talking about their physical sensation, but guess what? They're there now. And they cannot do the bypass that they were doing before. They cannot help themselves but think about you. You mentioned this probably more than once and that they didn't believe you. So it's part of what they're working on and releasing and healing. What I was talking about earlier, the forgiveness part, forgiving themselves. So they're doing that, which is like awesome. It's great news for the collective, for them to begin with and for the collective because twin flames are really important on earth. And if you feel that you're blocked when it comes to that connection, let it go. You need to reach a level where you're like, you know what? I don't care if I ever speak to this person again. Not in the sense of that you don't want to speak with this person, but really internally, if you can reach that point where you can think about never speaking to this person again and you're not even being triggered by this, good job. You've reached the level of balance that is needed for these connections to be balanced and to manifest. If you are getting triggered, Look at it and do the work, do the work. And more and more people, again, are being awakened when it comes to twin flames, but awakened at large, spiritually. Like I see more and more people sharing videos on spiritual awakening. People that a year ago weren't talking about spirituality at all. And now they're like, talking about Greg Braden, about all these people that I admire and love, and they're talking openly about spiritually awakened. And that's really great to see, and that's where you're going to keep seeing more and more as time goes by and as we go through this crisis. And as people are anchoring those energies that I was talking about at the, at the beginning of the video, that the first physical signs of this crisis are showing up, of this crisis, 
like the new reality. Sorry, that was like complicated for a minute. <laughs> what I meant to say is the first physical signs of that new reality. And the more and more people that are going to connect with that, those energies, the more ripple effect it's going to have. And the more people are going to jump into that boat. And life is great. So even though it is still a difficult time to be in, it is a wonderful time to be in also. Don't give up. Keep at it. Be focused. Stay balanced. Do your work. Move one foot in front of the other. And that's it. The plan is the plan and unfolding. It is unfolding the way it's supposed to. So just hang in there. And that's it for now. Thank you for being here. You can follow me on social media at Indigo Girl 555 on Instagram. Indigo Girls Readings on Facebook, or you can send me an email at indigogirl555 at gmail.com. And until the next time, be well, 